Empirical and molecular formula. So we'll start with the definitions. Empirical formula is defined as the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Molecular formula is the actual number of atoms in a compound. So for example, butane has the molecular formula C4H10. One molecule of butane has four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms. The empirical formula of butane is C2H5. This is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in butane. In this video, we'll calculate the empirical formula and the molecular formula of a compound. So here's our question. The relative molecular mass of aluminum chloride is 267 and its composition by mass is 20.3% aluminum and 79.7% .7 chlorine. Determine the empirical and molecular formulas of aluminum chloride. So we'll start with the empirical formula and the method that we're going to use now can be used for all empirical formula problems. So we start off by writing all the elements that make up the compound, in this case is aluminium and chlorine. And then you write down the percentage by mass of each, so 20.3% for aluminium and 79.7% .7 for chlorine. And then you divide that by the molar mass. So the molar mass of aluminium is 26.98 and the molar mass of chlorine is 35.45. So when we divide these values, we get 0 0.752 for aluminium and 2.25 for chlorine. Now the next step is to divide both of these by the lowest ratio. So the lowest one here is 0 0.752. So I divide 0 0.752 by itself to give me one, and I also divide 2.25 by 0 0.752 to give me 3. So therefore the empirical formula is AlCl3. So next we'll calculate the molecular mass of the compound. So the empirical formula is AlCl3 and what we do next is we find the mass of the AlCl3 so it's 26.98 plus 3 times 35.45 that gives us a mass of 133.3. So in the question we're told the relative molecular mass is 267. So the next step is to divide the relative molecular mass by the mass of the empirical formula. So in this case it's 267 divided by 133.3 and that gives us approximately 2.00. And the last stage is to multiply the empirical formula by 2 because we've just calculated that in the previous part and that gives us a molecular formula of AL2Cl6.